Sportsmanship mainly refers to virtues such as fairness, self-control, courage, and persistence. Sportsmanship is treating others as you would like to be treated yourself. Sportsmanship is being respectful and polite to the other team members. Sportsmanship is celebrating your win with grace and having empathy for the team you defeated. Sportsmanship is not gloating about your win, rubbing it in the faces of your opponents, and lowering their self-esteem. Sportsmanship is acknowledging your opponents as worthy competitors. While making this video, I noticed a lot of these clips are striker, your grand final MVP, teabagging everyone. I guess Sinatra passed the torch to striker. There's nothing really bad about these actions. These are players having just some harmless banters among each other. And remember, it's OT spawns the shock. They're gonna push this through point B and more. It's gonna be a six for no cleanup. Oh, Sparkle! Oh, or rather, it's a striker. That's so dirty, delaying the Widowmaker because you have so much armor, you can't even die to a headshot. <laughs> the Justice are dealing with the, uh, the most pertinent threat, which is the personnel boots on the ground from the Dallas field. And let's say you wanted to combine a blade, let's say blade and beat, right? You gotta stay warm in between these fights, but every single time he lands, that is a very, very deadly tushy right there. The way that Atlanta Academy plays is so explosive. Pete Steven didn't have a chance, man. He was wrong place, wrong time. Atlanta Academy, oh let God. him feel it. <laughs> Gets packed, dances on the point. Just about done, Jake, as the rain look as dominant as we expected them to be. Yeah, Bob comes in too little too late, I think, out. here, though. Gonna get flushed to the ground. Rain just chilling a little bit. Another touch comes in from Karkar and the Lucio, keeping this point in contention. Gator doesn't feel like his team needs his commitment to participate in this fight. I think he might be right. Blizzard comes in and uh, Diva stalling as well. Cole comes in. You're trying to keep this going here, but you're just, I mean, you're really just delaying the inevitable right now for the Vancouver Titans. You're also padding Masa's stats. This is unfair stat padding. Or they're going to find themselves in serious trouble. Uh, well, they're in serious trouble. Let's just go ahead and say that right now. Uh, completely collapsed upon. Absolutely massive halt dynamite combo with everything else in the mix. And like so, just gets swept under the rug without a second Ooh. thought. You can see Happy Tackle just uh, dynamiting himself on top of Jonak. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> they could win a, a fight, but I don't think they could push the B. And they might even. Oh, looking for the solo. Oh my god. Just uses it solo. Lip barely jumps back right as the EMP comes through. They make their way onto the card. The Graviton Surge does come out. Flood of the Pulse Bump. This time, not going to manage to find a kill. But look at the HP bars on the side of the NYXL. Absolutely devastated. I mean, the fight's over, right? As, as Sada, what can you do? You could go for the Ash, you give up Cart. You could sit on Cart, you're gonna die to the boosted Ash, regardless of Primal. Um, Smurf, maybe it's slightly early on the celebration here, but yeah, there won't be any fights at this point in Gibraltar. It will be uh, when that corner really comes into contest that- Suddenly, it's 24 seconds left for the Soul Dynasty as Prophet desperately tries to stay alive, but they are chasing him down. And it's looking it looks like, like that's all she wrote. Another full hold at the hands of the Hangzhou Spark. They get the fuller hold on Gibraltar, and now Soul Dynasty, uh, you know, with a 62% win rate, I believe, on this map, are just gate kept inside the spawn. No one can leave. Prophet manages to get rid of Kushway. Jester makes his way over onto the point to force up the OT with the rest of his primal rate, but now he is by himself. He is focus fired, and somebody needs to tag. And I just don't think they're going to be able to do it. Core anchor tanks like the Orisa like that. It is very difficult. Now only 50 seconds remaining. Stitch is staggering himself even further. Eventually goes down. Another banner. <laughs> okay. Striker, didn't know you were a Horde player. Yeah, claiming Respect. territory for the Horde. And to his brain in the back. I, I gotta be honest with you, Brent. When I saw Violet and Tuba being run... Oh my goodness, Striker, okay. please. What? <laughs> oh, come on. These guys have got to... You know, if it's... It might not be beef, but it's a bit of a rivalry between Janu and, and Stitch and the guys that were previously on the Vancouver Titans. McCree tough, right? McCree by Fortress tough. Oh, this is important. Make sure you beat in 1v1 to assert dominance. And then oh, get up on your chair crazy. and teabag the shit out of them. Now uh, that is important. Right if you can. 
quicker than AKM as well, but doesn't get any kill involvements uh, so far. It's been Striker doing most of the heavy lifting with three final blows early on. No, you can't <laughs> be doing that to my boy Jerry. I mean, you, you can. I mean, they're they're sitting on him at this point. As uh, Yeah, I McGravy mean, just went totally unchecked this fight, sitting on the high ground. It was a beautiful flank by him because I think if he doesn't play that aggressively, it doesn't generate so much value. I don't think oh, he's no. going to be able to win. <laughs> nice little standoff here. <laughs> That's a pretty great sight to see. Ash advancing with the scope on a brig. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, maybe the team still has some foundation to build. And in the era of hero pools where, you know, the composition gets switched up so much. And Super just got served his just desserts there. Myeongbong deserves a little bit of uh, limbering up there. Yeah, he, he, he was he was kind of playing with Myeongbong yeah. there. He thought he was going to definitely kill him. I actually really like this comp coming out from Shock. It's really kind of inhibiting Spark, or at least not, not so much for the time being. Striker does manage to punish No Smite, who was in the background of that <laughs> engagement. Striker actually picking up both tanks, even. Okay, kind of solo carry in this first fight. Sparkle both have low. Oh, okay. okay, we've just started the game, Striker. I know you killed three. Teabag and Sparkle already. <laughs> What's your hat? Sorry, I'm sorry about it. On and no nades. Or sleep dark. There's something. Ah! <laughs> yeah, shit, this is Lucio. You think I'm not gonna thirst you, but I. Getting healed back up and has faith in the healing to come through. Still holding on and. Okay, maybe should have backed up a little bit, but even with his, him falling, the fall through from the rest of the man is there. They punish the people coming in from the top and BQB just uncontested right now, Jake. Yeah, he's kind of dominating this game. He's taking 27 and he's taking <laughs> down! Oh! From the grave! Tuba just gives Doha such a hard time and... Oh! Привет. The tactical crouch. It's like that, is it? Oh, oh he's, got the, he's got the... Gladiator the, the spray. accidental gladiator spray there. And it doesn't mean the push is over for the man, but it definitely hurts initiation. However, last row's still under fire! Super low! Trying to get away and Fade goes out. You can put me to sleep? I'll put you to sleep! Permanently, the man just get right back in, and you know if I'm last row, I'm, I'm a little bit upset at the sequence of events, Jake. I mean that's about as well as you can play on the Ana. Uh, you know he does find the sleep on the Nana Winston, but that's that's fate with the primal, right? No, fuck this. Uh, hey, there's a Hanzo top. Wait, wait. Hey, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, that was a little rude. <laughs> to cancel that ability out. So the Mayhem, they burn a little bit more clock, Matthew. They get the, you know, pretty much into overtime. Now Florida might have to make a couple changes in space. Well, look, he's wide load, sometimes needs well, to take a knee. Jerry teleports out. He's going to be chased down by Super, though. He's going to become some extra old percentage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. Must have gone awry communication-wise there because he was going for a target on his own. There was no follow-up whatsoever. Dalton got an EMP, but it's way too late in the day. Numbers advantage, there's the double. Plus goes down, no shield available. And this is a beautiful cleanup once again by Odyssey. Being 3.07 meters left. This is the chance now for the survive, the dance on the payload, and the bolt bombs there to give some extra jazz to that jive. And finally, Mindfreak is gonna hold on here. I respect it from Praga. I respect it. I definitely respect it. <laughs> ...of where Sunfall Funk was, the prevention of having him do anything in the corner, and Classics do get the retake in a moment here as they just deal with the last stall. Brim somehow dies. Please peek me, please peek me on the left side. Okay, that's actually toxic. Please, sir, I want to heal you. <laughs> Final battle as well. It's not looking good at all for Drifters. Thigh's already been taken down. The Luke me no different striking again. He's just charging those exo boots. That's all that's happening over there. Revert your eyes, children. Ooh, nice look on the rack attack there as well. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough way for them to attack. Oh, the BM wave. Gotta, gotta, gotta love that. Maybe put some bacon with his Zaxby's chicken. I don't know how I think about that. Oh, just no, barely Choi gets the finish. And look at that. Striker following through what Choi sets up. The shock. A crucial fight as Striker just gets the reps in. Continues to get the reps in. All right, he's done. Like day. But Certainly <laughs> for Striker on the Reaper. Just letting Ons know. A little, little premature celebration here, but you can understand why, because due to come back in this fight, huge grab, huge high noon, channel up by Striker. Just breaks bubbles. That's all he has to do. The disrespect when you send the grab from downtown. The Shocks still get two off it. Striker claiming oh, the high yeah. ground. Let oh, him know. Yeah. Let him know, baby. 
That's a that's a brutal <laughs> dominant victory right there. You can't that's creative and inspirational.